Welcome everybody, here's your strategy wolf and welcome back to Strategic Command American Civil War. Welcome in a big campaign versus El Can I Destroy the Rematch. We're playing the Union side and we're getting into the 16th turn, uh, probably in February 1862. And last turn, yeah, we're this year the war is going to escalate on all levels, I would say. Um, the front in Kentucky has opened, we're getting in position. We put uh, General Beauregard under a lot of pressure on the Potomac. And yeah, as well, the enemy pushed on the western banks of the Mississippi a little bit up in the Missouri. We don't really we're not really scared of this but it's interesting to see where this is gonna go so yeah let's watch the replay together and then check out what's up let's go okay further text on Fort Thorn but I feel like if the enemy doesn't really focus here it's gonna be hard for them to take it or bring in more forces yeah she does but from these low supplies uh, why this? I feel like we're gonna be able to destroy this brigade. Ah. Okay, here the enemy tries to break out from the... Uh, no retreat from Beauregard and co. Interesting. Attack on Fort Gibson. Yeah, I feel like if the enemy had one unit more around here, they could definitely easily kill that off. Here they destroyed the regiment that was out of supply, that's okay. Alright, yeah. As expected, the enemy continues to push here uh, on the western bank of the Missouri. It's the first uh, river, riverboat battle. Nice that we reinforced Fort Washita with new um, weapons. And the partisans can deal one damage to Fremont, that's really not satisfying. Yeah, this division can, if they want to, can move from this side, no problem. There's really terrible supply, it should be so... Yeah, enemy has strong forces in Missouri, so probably this is gonna hold off our advance here, um, to some extent. However, there's not too much to gain for the enemy, so I'm happy to have the forces there while we push somewhere else. But let's have a look together. European forces move inland. Okay, this is from the Mexican Civil War. First fortresses is, are completed. And I feel like our raids, okay, definitely, I mean, we're getting more and more ships out, but getting more effective over time. That's really nice to see. Can we get some um, support here for the Gulf of Mexico? And that seems to be no further um, events. We've got a river ironclad. Oh, a lot of reinforcements. Also, the first monitor incoming, the monitor, the infamous one. That basically means the enemy has also the... Um, yeah, I should know the name. The very famous one. I think it should be around here or down here. These, this, um, yeah, the, 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 the monitor. What is it called? The duel. There was the duel of these two ships. Uh, yeah, it's quite famous. Let me know <laughs> if you remind me. We are in February 20, 25th of February, you see snow up here, um, so the situation is not really fencing any, uh, favoring any attacks, however, uh, looks like we can put further pressure on Beauregard. Winchester doesn't really, oh, this is, I would love to shorten the line here, but it you know, seems quite hard. Yeah, let's have a quick look over here, um, no further advance on, in Kentucky by the enemy. Really good that we have the cup here to kind of get the surveillance or reconnaissance out. But here we saw yeah, the enemy has at least three divisions and an HQ around here. So the enemy split up. One division went here. I mean, Gainesville. All right. And one division went over here to... I don't know if it got... They, it probably got ambushed by this brigade. I could just imagine. Um, they'll have terrible supplies. So I don't really... Getting to Springfield. Maybe we should redirect at least one unit just for security reasons to Springfield in case the enemy pushes over here. That might be something I want to do. Uh, but we will see, we'll see. Um, in the end, this is not really threatening and I'm really happy if the enemy has the divisions here. Ah, but they got they got some reinforcement here for, um, for Trenton, which for the Dresden area. So there's new units coming in, the enemy realized. I mean, Memphis isn't that far, nor is Nashville. So yeah, this is probably, I, I still think here we have the most space to maneuver and we do have reinforcements still incoming. So I still hope to exploit a little bit the, let's call it weakness of the enemy in Tennessee and 
It's mainly Tennessee, right? It's Mem Memphis, Tennessee? Yeah. Well, while the enemy... And it's not so hard to get these divisions quickly to the other side of the Mississippi in this case. All right. Um, let's have a quick look at diplomacy situation. No unpleasant surprises at this point. Let's have a quick look on the graphs. Um... Losses from enemy activity and by my feelings, by my feelings are getting confirmed. We have an increasing um, rate efficiency. However, of course, a lot is still like just one eighth, and still a lot coming through. There's a lot we can do about that, for sure. Um, is there any? That's what I wanted to check out. Diplomacy. The enemy spent another two hundred last turn on diplomacy. Interesting. Yeah, another great power, I assume, but since there was no hit or anything that I noticed, I feel like, st as I said last time, I'm at the moment, with these values down here, I'd rather try to invest in the field and um, counter that when they get higher or try to have success on the ground to avoid them to come in instead of doing diplomatic actions right now. Um, probably at, when they reach, like, have significant hits and reach, like, let's say 40, 50%, I'd, my, I'd try, I, I would start probably to also invest in Western that. All right, uh, research-wise, we're still at 4,000. Wonderful team. Um, yeah, let me take my notes, as always, and I'll be just be back with my with the execution of this turn uh, with you guys together. See you in a second. All right, we're back. And as always, let's start off in the very west in Arizona or southern New Mexico. And we saw the enemy retreated here with a very harmed uh, brigade. We could chase it down and go for it destruction eh? however we deal a lot of damage also on this weekend cap uh, brigade so to be honest before risking here any position i mean the enemy is spread out this was uh, so far the main problem over here i think the enemy has an hq and is in the um has more troops down here but like spreading up to two fronts was not very really smart i think so i could try to chase chase them down and try something to be honest now they'll take Santa Riles and they will recover. So I might lose the mines with this reshuffle and there's not even a guarantee that I destroy them. So I'd rather do want to deal these... Um... Okay, the prognosis was 4 damage, but... Oh yeah, these 3 damage. Oh, it wasn't as successful as I hoped it to be. But in the end, um, yeah, shattering also this unit a little bit more. They shouldn't be able to really attack, so maybe I actually cut them off the supply here as well. But I bring myself in the very... No, I have to be careful with my forces. I'm not here for the offensive. I was. I'm, I would be tempted to cut them off. Sure, I don't know how much supply would come through. Um, but these guys over here, yeah. It's a little bit too tense. They are really weak. I could make use of it, but... No, I'd rather stand here and keep the mind. This is the main target. The units here are not that relevant and important, so it's not that strong. So I'm happy to keep the position. I think the enemy needs anyways to retreat a little bit, recover before they can go on any further offensive. So maybe we'll... Be, yeah, I kind of like the situation right now. So no, I'm not going to do this one. Uh, criticize me for it. There might be a rightful point, but I feel like maybe I'm, I'm too yeah, timid right now. Let's see, Fort Thorn has been attacked several times and it is a kind of splendid little um, protected by the rivers and here they have really bad supply to attack from this side so it is kind of a good position and as you see the enemy units get already only four supply up here so attacking from this front also quite hard. I'd love to get um, the brigade in and I think I'll just get the brigade in. Santa Barbara, no they will not go around and attack these level three so easily so uh, i think they're kind of safe uh, yeah, if they go around and punish them and cut them off that would be quite hard to, hard beat for us but i think it's impossible and with this position with um fort thorn with a uh, infantry equipment one brigade in there they should be kind of safe and let's attack even the, uh, the the regiment over here unsuccessfully of course but yeah it is what it is okay well, fair enough oh i pressed s And the packaging begins again. Now you see the supply situation very well, by the way, down here. It's hard. <laughs> All right. 
Um, that's so much about here, about uh, Arizona, and so let's go to the Indian Territory. Fort Washita, um, definitely going to be reinforced. Same with Fort Gibson. I doubt that they're going to withstand much longer, but at the same time, the more time they the enemy units need to take them out, I'm happy so they bind them nicely. In the meantime, we can push forward, take here Kushtanala, not really precious little town, but oh, we see Tulasi is not defended. Um, the enemy should rather retreat and get some defenders over there, otherwise we're going to plunder Tulasi and take their uh, the capital. Yeah, We've these natives still wait, he's not really vulnerable, but I want to push it a little bit down, uh, maybe to put some pressure on this flank of the enemies to see how they react. Um, yeah, that's going to be interesting. Uh, over here, here's like uh, the situation is a little bit different now since the enemies decided to move some troops, at least this division. I don't know if anything. No, there's nothing on the way yet, because otherwise this field would have been taken. This is just rema remainings. However, the enemy seems to have some idea of leading units here in west in Arkansas to the west, as a counter to our push here. They destroyed a regiment. So, and with this given force, this Freeman will not be able to take uh, Fort Smith, what I was hoping for, because Fayette, Fayette Will, I don't really have chances to take Fayette Will even out. So, I think I retreat to some extent. Yes, we shall retreat for the moment because it's there's nothing to gain. Um, let's see, let's ten, uh, occupy P Ridge with this reg regiment. I think the regiment can hold it versus this, this, these partisans. Then we gonna... Yeah, Brigade versus Division 1-1, one, one, we can deal this damage. Oh, 1 2 is still not that terrible. I'm gonna retreat here behind this river in the forest, so kind of nice defensive position. Shouldn't be easily spotted also, so in case the enemy tries to push over here or further to the west, there sh should be another ambush as well. Um, to at least get some control over the situation over here, I'd like to. Let's check the parties that looks quickly. Carrollton, okay. This calf is gonna go here just to get some spotting in here. Maybe I'm gonna take it up to here just to have better indicators in case of any danger. Um, don't have to retreat that badly actually. These guys can protect Carrollton while this brigade pushes up here. Yeah, they lose the support of the uh, of the general, which is a little bit sad, but oh god. These partisans here are really, really strong. This was one of my mistakes early on. Uh, really painful unit to take out. Um, uh, partisans in strategic command, I'm always not a big fan. Or I mean, it's what it's supposed to be. All right, and getting over here, we've got the situation. The enemy took out our units. There's N one HQ, one division at least. Maybe a second one, or is it this? I'm not 100% sure. The situation, we're gonna, we can't really, we have to pull back a little bit. Question is if I'd rather these guys could take a stand, but they got Poker Hunter, so Poplar Bluff doesn't have this huge value. I could just entrench actually behind the river, but I can also still do it when they move up. Maybe they run into an ambush or something, and then of course there's the danger of being encircled. No, I'm gonna take the stand still here, take the two entrenchments. It's yeah, and once they move up, uh, we can always, like, they come up with superior numbers. We can retreat a little bit. Here, these guys, we could reinforce them, but to be honest, with these two guys, they will be knocked out anyway. So I'd rather retreat, maybe have them go into an ambush and waste an attack. So they might survive, they might not, I don't know. Um, considering this push of the enemy on this side of the river, I'm already brought in the, the brigade last turn. So they will march over here and help in this, this defense. While our main off offense is going to continue on the other side of the Mississippi, since, yeah, once again, here we seem to have some space. And let's start here on in the, let's say, Dresden Trenton area, since where we have Grant and uh, so basically our most capable forces. And as you see, these guys can, with the preparation bonus, can deal some severe damage to Trenton or this division. Plus, basically, two more divisions and the Rangers can reach them and the Cav. So I think. 
since they're not entrenched, not on, yeah, not on infantry equipment one yet. I'd like to take Trenton out. Best case also by this, by doing so, encircling this brigade next to them and maybe establishing Grant and his forces here on this, let's say, Dresden, Trenton, Tennessee position here. I mean, for, for some time to reinforce, to t tech upgrade, and then from here off we can either push towards Memphis or Nashville. And yeah, I could of course reinforce right now, but I'd rather do it, like take them out quickly before more enemy units show up. Um, to do so, I'd like to use the cavalry first to see if any more reinforcements are in out there. No, they are not, so very nice. And especially this isolated little troop we should take out easily. So let's do the attack. Mm-hmm. Just gonna check the movement so you guys can go to the left. Then let's bring in... I mean, when... Can only attack from here, okay. Okay, this is oh fairly easy, but they, we're not gonna destroy them, but we can. Thank God for the cavalry, and once again, and somehow in like strategic um, civil war, I'm really, really a big fan of the cavalry. I must admit, we can move Grant up to Dresden. Trenton taken, these um, bridges here secured, and I think this unit here shall be taken out next turn quite easily. However, let's... No, they will not be able to take move down to Jackson. I think these rangers will just secure the crossing here, so there's no bad surprise coming from the east. And the next turn we can reinforce. Um, looks pretty nice. Let's see how the supply is going to look next turn. Splendid. So yeah, very nice. Uh, I think the enemy heavily underestimated that Grant and his potential down here. So in the, within two turns we took basically from Paducah, Dresden and Trenton. Or was three turns? Anyways, it's um, using the yeah not so cold weather here in the Midwest. Or is, it, can you, is Tennessee the Midwest? Mm, not really, no. <laughs> but let's say that more in the southern states where it's warmer. So we exploited the good weather very nicely and showed some little offensive over here. Absolutely nice. Okay, um, I wanted to repair my, my ships for another attack on Fort, uh, for the next attack on Fort Donaldson. However, the enemy revealed this Jackson River gunboat down here, and I feel like we, since we do have the chance, I should use. Oh, and this was a mistake, yes, sure. I should have counted it was. The attack counts as one action point. Badly managed by me. Nevertheless, let's. See if we can still take it out. We should be able to, I think. Yes, we are. Wonderful. The gunboat is down. This timberclad damage, but okay. And you guys can go in the harbor so you can get some repairs. Alright, this turned just the timberclad then. Nevertheless, one gunboat less here on the river, so our our superiority on the river prevails, at least here in the north. And yeah, when once they're all repaired, I think we can definitely push down either here the Tennessee River or the Cumberland River. All right, um, to Kentucky. Over here, we don't really have this. We, we occupied the most important spot. Um, I'll use the Calf Brigade here to get some more reconnaissance out, okay. Carthage is free, interesting. So actually, let's take Carthage in this case. Especially with the river, uh, with the harbor here, this is kind of nice, cuts uh, the river usage out. I don't know if there are any ships left from the enemy, but still quite useful. Um, these troops, I'm gonna actually give the upgrade since. Yeah, we can't really attack right now, and they're here in a defensive position. This is nice. You guys, just one more turn to Glasgow, I think, yeah, to secure that one. These guys, I can force march into Albany, and I will. So we have absolutely the entirety of Kentucky secured. I'm really surprised the enemy hasn't deployed a lot of troops down here. We're coming really close already to Nashville, very fast. 
I mean, if you want to deploy divisions down here, or I don't know, more on the other, other fronts, of course you're gonna have drawbacks on others, so... I'm quite surprised. And this division, I'll take over here to... To package, exactly. No, to, to control, let's say, here the eastern parts, and also no troops here. So with the speed of this division, I might be able to take these little towns. And Knoxwell already is a um, fighting spirit objective. Down here we've got strong mines. And so, yeah, I mean, this is like far down to Georgia. And this is like a lot of uh, Palachian hills and so on. We have to fight our stuff through. Also, here's the way up to Staunton and Western Virginia. So, yeah, the enemy, for sure, she can ignore this for a bit. But there's a lot of interesting targets not too far, let's say. So, actually, I'm really surprised that I was able to you now take all these lands basically without a fight or secure it without a lot of enemy resistance moving in. Good for us, though. Um, yeah, where do we bring the cavalry? I think maybe actually here. I was thinking here, but since the enemy is standing so deep, I might rather bring them here. And then flank or use them to do some reconnaissance or in the operations in the back of the enemy. So yeah, Grant get some more uh, reinforcements. I'm not really fearing any attack here from the swamps. There shouldn't be uh, too many movements left from this bad terrain. There's no streets and so forth. So this flank, Grant should be secure from this side. All right, so much. Oh yeah, we've got this division. Let's force march them to Madisonville. Yeah, that'll help us to establish more of a front down here. We badly also need an HQ for sure here in Kentucky. It might be McClellan that moves slowly up. So, yeah, talking about McClellan, let's come to the get to Western Virginia. And to my big surprise, the enemy hasn't taken out this brigade without any supplies that took this mine. Yeah, but there was troops in Staunton that will kill us, so actually we tried to retreat and... Happily take 14 MPP per turn, per turn from this mine these days. I, I don't know if the enemy didn't see that or... Well, interesting to see. McLennan, however, will retreat towards rail lines where we can get him out. And the others keep their position as planned. Interesting, interesting. So much about Western Virginia coming to the main front to the Potomac. Where we saw some enemy attempts of... Um, Relief, relief here. Let's use the one where we have good um, forecast the attack on Beauregard. HQs are expensive and helpful. Let's use it a little bit more here too. Taking him down to five. I don't know how long the enemy will keep the stand here. We're gonna reinforce here those guys, those guys. Wherever we can in the end. And this calf, I definitely don't want to lose. That's why we're going to shuffle them, but also reinforce up here. Good. Um, over here, we have, yeah, I mean, we have our division here and has a pretty good prospect of taking out this brigade. And I think I might do this because just to flatten the front line a little bit to, and we have chances. So I don't want the enemy to be too calm over here as well. So therefore... Let's do this, where we have good prospects. I mean, MPP-wise, the prospects aren't that great since it's division versus brigades, but it opened up these further attacks, let's say. This is simply quite nice. And we've still got also this um, brigade here, this division here with infantry equipment one. Okay. We've taken out another brigade, which is nice. And we don't have to be in the very front line, but I think I will. Enabling us also to reinforce those guys easier next turn. Some little success over here. Um, we saw that this an engineer unit completed its fortress. So the first fortifications here, the security line uh, next to Washington DC at the Potomac is being built. And I think, yeah, while we're here doing this packaging, I'm going to extend the line to the Potomac, at least to the Antietam, while the other unit might build here some, like, super reserve units in case they break through here. They can't easily push towards Washington. But let's start with the standard Potomac, let's say. And let's build two fortifications just alongside the Potomac River. 
of fallback line. All right, then we've got to reinforce these ones. Yes, and these guys, and not reinforce, upgrade them to infantry equipment one, which is going to be very ha ha uh, helpful for us. Garibaldi can move one further down, not going to Baltimore because we're going to use it for our reinforcements. And once we're at it, let's do it already before the um, Navy moves, let's say. We've got the Foster Marines that go to Annapolis. And we've got the Arnold Marines that go to Baltimore. So basically, in once they are upgraded, we've got three Marine divisions here bringing, mounting a substantial invasion force, potentially. And I talked about potential um, invasions down here with the one division. With three, our options are way bigger, I'd say. So, um, yeah. And also, they're good fighting units in general as a reserve. So I feel very comfortable right now at the Potomac in Maryland, but not really able to do a proper offensive down here. Nevertheless able to defend off these brigades and also pose a threat from the naval side. Um, okay, when we've got river gunboats, gunboats and two divisions and a, a couple of more ships. So let's be, before we do the ships uh, and get them out, I would say let's move our ships first. We've got the Mohongo. Okay, actually I want to put some pressure. I mean, I haven't said, I'm just not decided yet what I'm going to do with these Marines, but I do find, and for this it was probably not so smart to put them, place them here actually, but we can also yeah, ship them out. I still find the attack on our New Orleans quite interesting. To just open up the south here, not up front to, to, to annoy the enemy, and with our river fleet at some point maybe controlling as like kind of historical role model, taking out the entire Mississippi as a shipping line for the enemy, dividing the enemy's country, that would be quite helpful. And since we can push our rigs quite far down here, this might come in very handy. So to do so, I will set up the Kickapoo River ironclad. Will be built here in New York, so we can ship them down here to the New, uh, New Orleans, basically. Then this gunboat will go as an additional uh, reinforcement to Key West. So is this one. Is this one? Yes. So we need to pose a threat down there. We'll definitely need some more ships. Then, but not all of them. This gunboat... Where can we set up? Let's do our... Uh, okay, the one that we can only set up here anyway. So we've got this one in Boston. Oh, we get the Rattler River gunboat. Uh, because we can only bring down a couple of boats, per, one boat per turn basically, and I can also use gunboats in the river. This, this Rattler River is going to be um, set up up here. So as a support for our Northern River fleet. Well, it's, maybe then we bring in this another Marblehead gunboat as another reinforcement for the south. Yes, I will. Uh, we've, then we've got this one here in Portsmouth. Oh, uh, it was a little bit premature. We could have used this one, but nevertheless, we, we can also move these guys from here, of course, to this area. There's no not such a big of a deal. New Haven. Oh, I should have looked. There's plenty of gunboats coming in and we've got the first monitor that we can set up basically wherever we want and I think if the enemy monitor is around here I kind of need to maybe we'll lose a unit we will lose a unit but I would like to lure him out so let's get the monitor out here in Annapolis to dominate basic that's the main task right now to control Chesapeake Bay not to get any bad surprises and then from here off we see any further what we see what we can do and both of these divisions, actually, uh, while we're on it already, yeah, for the Kentucky, uh, yeah, for the Kentucky front mainly. Yes, to get some more reinforcements out here to keep the offensive going. And with these little forces, and uh, I feel like if we bring in quickly an HQ or something, 
down here we can actually push down here easily uh, i mean the enemy will bring in reinforcements as well but at the moment we could push down to the cumberland river getting really close to nashville already uh would be super interesting so definitely our offensives in the spring ally here in this in tennessee area um, may be supported by landing all right so much about the new setting up new units let's get to the navy uh, well you just collect experience or cause whatever little damage you can do here fort monroe yeah, needs to be reinforced of course we keep up the blockade of norfolk here we've got do we have any supply problems down here nope i think i took them here the gunboats because i wanted them to be able to take out fort pulaski i think the frigate is going to be also very handy for that Rate this harder. Brigade coming down. These guys still have this in control. Another one coming in. Yeah, yeah. And... I mean, this Brigade can easily go and attack. So with this one more gunboat... Mm, supply down here is fine. Should be oh it wasn't set up to radar always make sure once you want to raid that it's set up for raiding okay and i feel like next turn with two frigates and three frigates two gunboats four frigates fort pulaski actually it's start blockading um let's take already down the supply for it a little bit Yes, that's a good idea actually. So the readiness and supply goes down. Even if the enemy reinforces a bit, I think with the entire might we will be able to take out Fort Pulaski. By next turn, okay, we've got this gunboat that came down to Key West. We're gonna move them further to Fort Pickens. Then over here, you are happily raiding, right? But with just with supply three, so. Let's get you to resupply, so you can go hunt the next turn again. You guys are raid, uh, you're happily raiding. Oh man, what pickings is by the way here. So never forget as a union to use really these movements, uh, sea move route. They're really helpful and speed up things a lot and enable you to do things that uh, you want to do. These ones are raiding as well. So yeah, this looks pretty up. Pretty nice turn again. Yeah, I don't, I'm gonna be. It's gonna be interesting to see if the enemy is gonna deal us some major damage sooner or later somewhere. I mean, Lee and his army must be around. But if the enemy really decides to push up here and like uh, spends resources here in the western in Arkansas, western Mississippi bank, then I'm really happy to do so and abuse or like ex, ex, uh, pardon to exploit other fronts where I have more room to maneuver and so forth. All right. As the last thing to do, um, let's just spend basically on units that we need to get out. Um, let's get the Grover Division and the Mansfield Division. Leaving us with 467 and of course I could get another division out. But I am kind of tempted um, for the future and I'm going to research at some point also to either get the Railroad Battery or the siege artillery out but actually the, the railroad is kind of even more interesting because it moves faster right has more action points and more demoralization a little bit lower attack on ports okay but to be honest let's get one railroad artillery the one we can build and see where this uh, helps us out uh, if you want to know, I mean, here's railroads basically, so we can use it here to attack some here in, in Kentucky quite nicely. If we have these bridges, we can be taken down here. Um, in, here in the Potomac, I feel like there should be railroads. Yeah, there's also insufficient railroads, so they, here they can be used quite nicely. So both major fronts, I assume, get some nice support through the railroad battery. Um, I want to check it out, to be honest. And we can afford it, so let's get one railroad battery out as well. 
will support us in May 62. So promising reinforcements incoming, let's say. Leaving us with 63 MPP, which is, uh, yeah, not a lot. And actually, um, yeah, I will not, I'll just save them up for the next turn. One last check, there's nothing to do. All right, looks very good um, from from this point. So I think we haven't forgotten anything. Let's finish the turn together. See if there's any more events to come. There's yeah, the matrician lost down here. As expected, maybe they kill them off next turn. Additional Colorado volunteers from New Orleans in New Mexico. Nice to see. Oh, yeah. Good reinforcements. They go to Key West. They could go to Fort Pickens. Locate is being kept up. And that's it. Yeah, just regular income. No events there. So thank you very much for watching. If you liked it uh, or if you have any plans in mind, please let me know. There's room in the comments for, and I'm happy to react and uh, yeah, to discuss with you further plans in the future. So let me know. And of course, if you haven't yet, it would be amazing if you leave me a like and a subscription since it doesn't cost you anything while it keeps me growing and gives me the motivation to push this channel, hopefully to new spheres. Uh, thank you for your support. See you next time in the next episode. Bye, your strategy wolf.